There was a protest outside the Foreign Office because of this Labour government's recent actions, which have been seen as weakening Israel in this time of need when it's standing up against these seven fronts of war, all yeah. of them coordinated and led by Iran. Uh, specifically, David Lammy announcing that partial arms embargo, which has been seen as quite performative. He said it was a legal thing made reluctantly against their will, but in reality, Many international law experts have said there was no need for it to happen. Indeed, the US said that they monitor Israel's actions very closely and don't believe that there is grounds for uh, cancelling any arms sales at this stage because of international law being yeah. breached. Um, but the UK, obviously, under David Lammy and Keir Starmer, feels differently. And other, other moves as well. For example, as soon as they came back into power, Labour decided that Britain would start refunding UNRWA, the UN agency yeah. that looks after Palestinians, despite the fact that since October the 7th, Israel has demonstrated many, many compromising links between UNRWA and the terrorist organisation Hamas. So and th those links have been known actually for much longer. Uh, people like Hillel Noya of UN Watch have been documenting the rot at the heart of UNRWA for so long uh, that it was really refreshing that it actually came out so publicly after October the 7th. It's absolutely undeniable that there are these strong links and refunding UNRWA is not necessarily the right way to help Palestinian people. But this government decided almost instantly upon coming into power that that's something they do. And I think there's the fear, finally, just quickly, that they may try to use the October the 7th horrific terror attacks as the starting point for them to maybe recognise Palestinian statehood, effectively rewarding terrorism. Rewarding terrorism.